I can't believe these things happened at a wedding. Let's get into some stories. Wedding photographer here. Easily the worst was when the father of the groom, apparently entirely sober, gave a 10 minute toast that devolved into openly complaining that his son got to have sex with the bride and he didn't. <laughs> and this wasn't a mistimed joke about how pretty she was. This was a full on lament about growing old and how women didn't find him attractive anymore. <laughs> and that all he wanted was to make his daughter. <laughs> and all he wanted was to take his daughter in law to bed. <laughs> That must be one of the most awkwardest moments at any wedding that's ever been. That's disgusting. That's that so is cringe. disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> that's so weird. What a horn dog. <laughs> oh. I would never step foot in his house ever. No, you know what you mean. That is actually like there's like weird vibes to that in the like massive like dark an annulment undertones vibes. there that like. Oh, we're going to my parents for the weekend. I'm like, we're, right. we're definitely not. I'm, <laughs> right. I'm busy. I'm brushing my teeth. Yeah. Oh my god! As if he said that. That's so speed. bizarre. I think it's what like the bride thinking. Oh, oh I, I can't, can't imagine. Just what, what was anybody thinking? Just pure embarrassment. But like to do it in a speech, like in front of all your fat. Like, what's his missus thinking as well? Mother of the groom. What's she saying? No, I don't think he's got a partner by the sounds of it. Do you think? Can't do No. I don't know. I think, like, I, I don't know, like, older men. There's certain older men that just have that creepy vibe about It's creepy, them. and then there's, like, someone's going to do a Netflix series about you creepy. <laughs> oh, and he's, no. like, that sort of, like, creepy Netflix series. <laughs> that's horrendous. That is honest. That's awful. It's dutty. My mother, in the middle of the reception, proceeded to tell people I married the wrong person and named who I should have married. And yes, they were a guest. <laughs> <gasps> That'd be awful. Like, oh, is what were the, what are these parents? Just be happy for your kids. No. Like, How about them. Yeah, these clearly they just want total control over their kids' lives. Just going around the reception, going, should have married him. You know, should have married. Mm. Ah, Toby <laughs> over there is ever so nice. It's lovely. Gorgeous. Yeah. What you bloody do it? If I were 10 years younger. Oh. <laughs> the bride's older brother gave a speech where he talked about how he changed her diaper when she was a baby. He then told the groom that because of this, he, the brother, saw her first. Oh, that's a little <laughs> bit different. <laughs> you creepy. Oh, what is wrong with people? <laughs> what is wrong with people? <sighs> Why are you destroying I that in Yeah, it's just a fucking child you feed out. <laughs> yeah, that's what you like automatically like set him on fire. Oh, <laughs> that's get out the pitchforks and run him out of the oh. wedding. Now that will be a Netflix series. <laughs> yeah, yeah, disgusting. Oh, that, I think that's one of the worst ones I've ever seen or read. Do you think, like, in his head, he just thought, oh, this will be funny? Yeah. And it's just completely, yeah. he's not really thought about it enough to go. He's dumb as all. Uh, he's proper thick, like, proper <laughs> stupid. He hadn't really thought about it. He thought, oh, this will be funny if I put this in my speech. I saw it first. And then everyone who's got, like, half a brain cell so went, she was a baby, and that's proper weird. Uh, yeah. Sick. Stop. The priest was asking the groom if his new bride and his mother, who was seated in the first row, were drowning in a river and he could only save one, who would he save? And he, the priest, refused to proceed with the ceremony until the choice was made. What kind of priest are you hiring? <laughs> it's like someone off saw. <laughs> like you have pick to pick one. one. <laughs> like, I've seen some like priests go off on a tangent. Do you yeah. know what I mean? When they're doing all ropes and whatever they're saying. <laughs> and <Magicians. laughs> yeah. it's not like fucking magician. <laughs> I've seen like some epic tangents happen during a wedding ceremony. But to, like, it's essentially going like, w would you rather? Like Let's Sophie's play. Choice. Would you rather? Yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> and not going ahead with a wedding until you've given them an answer. That's so awkward because I don't know. You just you'd have to pick the bride but the rest of the day is gonna be really weird and the rest of like life in that family is gonna be really bizarre i'm gonna yeah. say a priest is just gonna be looking at you like how dare you let your mother die yeah. and then if you said the bride how dare you let your wife die i think the priest is just like some sicker 
Oh. Yeah. Sounds just some guy way. who like just wants to play and mess around with people because he's bored with his life. Oh. <laughs> like, how can I make this interesting for myself? What I would do if someone asked me that question, like you have to pick your wife or your mother and the priest won't go on, I'd just drag the priest outside and drown him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This choice, mate. <laughs> you. Funny, isn't it? Funny. God, I ain't going to save you now. <laughs> Pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> this wedding had serial killer centerpieces. What do you think to serial killer centerpieces? Finished our serial killer centerpiece slash table numbers recently. I'm super happy with how they came out. This has been an idea we've been trying to execute since we got engaged in 2019. Only 10 more days. That's... I've only got one word. Run. <laughs> yeah. That's like net honestly, Netflix have got so much to answer for, haven't they? I get it. I get everyone's like indulging in these serial killer documentaries, but to have a centerpiece, how creepy is that I gonna know. look for anyone to go to the house? I like how disrespectful as well. Like these are like horrible, horrible people. Yeah. You I'm... might as well have one of like Hitler on your table and go, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, You're on the Hitler table. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Oh, perfect. Put on your swastika. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it it's as distasteful as that. Yeah, it's like, the same. I'm looking through that. Like, who can I say? The you know, you John think? Wayne Gacy, yeah. there. Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. yeah. Who like, drilled into someone's head and put poison in their head whilst they're alive as a centerpiece on your wedding day. Oh, oh but it's beautiful. People are the so romance. weird. People it's, are so weird. It's bizarre, isn't it? That's so odd. So this wedding party kept things super classy, as you can see by the picture. Another pretend blowjob kind of picture. I like how they're all in the bouquets, though. <laughs> that makes it really <laughs> fancy. I like the symmetry in Get this Get dirty shot. knees, but hold your bouquets, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the album. <laughs> Again, whose idea were this? Some knobhead. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Like, what? <sighs> whose idea was it? Who's okayed it? And who's going along with it? And who's not getting sucked off? There's someone here that ain't getting oh, sucked off. Not even like bastard. a little handover or oh, not a little Well, no, she's got both there. there so. so she could be doubling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah someone's got to double up, <laughs> poor fella. Oh, hey, that's a bride. He should just do it on his own. Just pretend he's having a wank. It's a <laughs> shitty photo. <laughs> so it's just make awful. it worse. I hate these ones. I hate it just cheapens everything, doesn't it? It's oh, wait, actually. Who's this one in white here that looks like the bride? Again, I don't know why she's wearing white. There's so many four piles in this. definitely <laughs> going to be like bride's mum or she's something got, like, like two that. Ties. Yeah. She's got two ties. So she could be like double noshing. The Good girl. <laughs> what, what, what are you tasking? Going tasking. skiing or... Taking one for team. <laughs> Ski this guest, not the bride, I repeat, not the bride, showed up dressed in white like this. Full-on wedding gown. It is a full-on wedding gown. It's crazy. It's it's great recycling. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> you know, you don't have to buy a dress. You're not getting them shipped in on Timu or whatever it is <laughs> from China. You know, it's recycling that wedding dress. It is, but you think with all the shit that's posted online, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, you'd know not to wear white to weddings. You're going to get ripped. And you feel like the memo should have gone around that yeah. white, wearing white is not acceptable at a wedding. Not only like wearing white, but wearing like a wedding dress yeah. should be acceptable like at a wedding. Like a big Victorian curtain wedding dress as well. It's not like it's, it's, not like it's a summer dress that is a yeah. bit white or it's a full-on... Wedding dress. The only way, like, she could get away, get away with wearing it, if she were like, "Well, this is Queen Victoria's wedding dress." You know, yeah. it's like I like a fact to it, or like this is like <laughs> a wedding dress that a famous person died in. Because that'd be like, and right. I bought it from auction for <laughs> five million pounds. <laughs> yeah, then you're like, oh, oh, interesting. Fair enough. It get you like talking on the table, wouldn't it, when you sat with some <laughs> random <laughs> on yeah, wedding just breakfast. Just want it as a conversation starter. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, you know, a little piece, a little something to get people chatting. Like. Yeah, that's true. So if you ever do get caught wearing white at a wedding, you could just pretend it's like a conversation starter. Yeah, style. very good. <laughs> like just I know the rules really, but let's just talk about it. Let's discuss. <laughs> just lie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This. Oh, this was. Uh, Kurt Cobain's uh, <laughs> wedding dress, this one. <laughs> Kurt Cobain died in this wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yeah. It's a conversation yeah. no matter what, it? It doesn't have to be a good one. <laughs> Summer. <laughs> That's it for this week, guys. If you can like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications, that will be awesome, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah! Bye!